So, before we move on, there's one more thing I want to show you because when we look at the employee model that our full stack made for us, if you don't remember it, when we did the create, automatically create the employee, it created those classes for us, the JavaScript files, and one of them was this model. And if you look in here, there's one difference from our model still, and that's something called Bluebird. So it's using something called Bluebird. And Bluebird is a way for us to make what we call promises. And you can think of a promise as a way for us to say, do this, and I expect you to do it because you made a promise, and when you're done, tell me how it ended, right? So that's a promise. Now, we want to use this in our setup as well with the cat. So let's try and figure out what it actually provides for us. Well, it seems rather simple to use. I just have to add this promiseify all. That means make every call inside mongoose into a promise now. That kind of means we don't need to use callbacks like we're doing now. Instead, we can use like actions saying, then do this, then do this. I'll show you in a second. But we want to do this before we move on. So I'll go into the model here and I'll just wrap our requirement here inside a promise as well. Okay, that was all I had to do with the model. Now my entire mongoose setup is promisified. So now that means I can start saying, do this for me and let me know when you're done, right? Kind of like a callback, but it makes it simpler to write the code. That's the goal here. Good. So let's just try and check out what else the employee controller actually, how it uses this promise setup. So there's a lot of code in here and I'm not going to use all of it. I want to go down here and look at the create async. So I'll just copy all this code right here from the create employee. I'll copy it up here to the cat to try to make this code change into something else. So let me show you the difference between these two ways of writing the code. The first one here, I wanna create async, just like we're doing in here, but instead of doing a create, that's not async, I'm doing it asynchronously now. Saying that create the request using the request body. And here I had a function inside, um, inside my call saying, when you do that, you'll get an error and you'll get a cat. But in the other function here, we say, if everything goes well, then we'll call the then method. And if something goes wrong, we'll call the catch method. So that makes it a lot easier for us to read this. So what I want to do is say, if I call the then method, then let's add a function in here saying, um, still have our cat here the same way. If I hit the then, call this function. If I hit a cat, call this function right here. Now again, with the small functions that we have right now, this doesn't look like it makes a lot of difference. But as we start expanding our program to be more and more complex, it'll make a huge difference. So let me just add this line down here. I want to return this if something goes wrong. And let me just clean this up. There we go. I think that's okay now. Go down here and see it's trying to populate users. Everything seemed fine. Let's uh, try and do our cat again just to see if our promisified mongoose works now. And it does. So now I can also use the promisified setup. That's awesome. So let's try to look at this again. What I did was I kind of just made this promisified, meaning that I want to be able to get a response every time that I ask you to do something. You, I expect you, I pr you promise me something and when you're ready, you give me a response asynchronously. And now when I look at my cat control, I say, create something and when you're done, then call this function. And if you don't get to that, then do a catch, right? So now I can start reading the code a lot simpler and there's a lot of other benefits. We'll move into those as we move further. So that's how we use the Promisify setup uh, using Bluebird. So now we actually have the full model that we are using down here when we are building a setup using the Angular full stack command. So we're going to do that next using the commands again. Now you know how it's built, right?